my words, 10 cents on a dollar. A lot of this prime real estate will be locked up. When, when the thing fell in 09, you'd be surprised that these white people that hold up nice places because they had the cash to what? To do it. To do it. And that's what we have here. Okay, so it says, uh, we know people will perish because of a lack of knowledge. And what I want to say is, this knowledge will save your pension, your wages, and your savings. So if it was to value the, 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 say the dollar by 50%, we're going to show you that Roosevelt uh, devalued currency by 60, 60%. So you lose 60% of your wealth, you're in trouble. Because you ain't, especially if you're elder, because you ain't got a chance to get that money back. So it says, save your family and, and, uh, uh, from headaches and your dinner table. Listen, do you know orange juice costs $8 a gallon? <laughs> People said, no, I don't. I said, I, I said, I said, I said, how much a half a gallon? He said, $4. I said, that's four and two is what? Four and two is eight. That's eight, it's eight dollars a almost nine dollars a gallon. And some of the black them, it's almost ten. So we say here, may prevent you from me and your family from becoming homeless, enable you to prosper yes, yes. and thrive in this economic chaos, and to take advantage of many opportunities. There's gonna be all types of opportunities available. Because one thing they do know, uh, that's one thing they found out. That, they, uh, that the people on Wall Street, they can crash the stock market and come and buy these little business pennies on the dollar. And say, y'all out of here. And then they, 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 that, that's the name of the game. They, they don't play this over and over and over again. How do you think they got uh, 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 Manhattan when they came here? They came to Manhattan and gave the Indians some beads. They look at the plastic beads and say, ah, give you all this land. Well, then, you know, food, uh, you know, you know lack of knowledge to the plastic beads, man. They ain't worth what? They ain't wearing jack. But again, you know, they took advantage of other things and they use it to their advantage. Okay, next. Okay, now what you're doing daily, what you're doing, you're exchanging time for dollars. What we call Federal Reserve notes. As long as those notes hold value, all right, you can do something with them. But once you give somebody 40 hours and the medium of exchange they give you don't buy a squat, you in what? You in big trouble. You in big trouble real quick. Because your only meal ticket, you only got one stream of income. That's the 40 hours. And if they continue to pay you in a currency that's not worth anything, you know, gas. I mean, I'm going to show you in 1960 when I was in school. In high school, we had many of the guys who were able to, to drive out and get up the GTO or Pontiac. Because the car only cost $26 and gasoline was only 35 cents. Now, what has changed since then? What that's changed is they had printed an enormous amount of dollars to make the rest of the dollars what? Worthless. Worthless. This, this is the name of the game they have. So we have exchanged time for dollars as they print out of thin air and we lose our purchasing what? Purchasing power. I'm going to show you how crazy. My grandmother worked for the, uh, she worked for the, the president of Kraft up in the 1950s. She bought a two flat for $17,000 on the west side. Now a two flat, you know, anywhere in the city can run anywhere from Fifty, you know, up to two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars. But you can't, you can't buy no house working as made today. Hmm. You know, it's impossible because of the cost of what? The cost of living is so great. Okay, continue on. You know, it says, what is money? It is a medium of exchange with value. In ancient times, it was gold and silver. Today, you are exchanging forty hours of work uh, uh, for the medium of exchange which is the Federal Reserve nerd, a fiat currency, with nothing to back it. So you don't have nothing to back that currency. Okay, read. Okay, at one time, the dollar was backed by a silver dollar. Now that silver dollar you had, if you buy a silver dollar right now, you're gonna pay $35 for it. You go to a coin shop, they say, hey, listen, you mean this one dollar, I gotta pay $35? Yes, you have, because this is silver. We don't know about that paper there. And went to, if, if silver was to go to $100, a Lord help us when it go to five hundred dollars. Then you need five hundred dollars to buy one of these five hundred paper notes to buy one of those. You know what milk is. <coughs> so you can see there the problem that we have. So next, so, so what is causing the uh, rise in food prices and fuel prices? What is causing this? Okay, go ahead. Too many dollars are being printed, and that's what we have. We have a time factor. This dollar is absolutely going to be phased out, and, and eventually they'll be put back on a gold standard. And what that means to you and me, that means when it goes back, if you don't have this, you wiped out. Because you can lose 70% of your wealth as, it, as everything is based 
in terms of dollars. I mean, silver and gold. To give you an example of what I'm talking about, the average American makes $50,000 a year. Average, the average salary. That breaks down to roughly about $41 or $4,200 4, a month. It breaks down to a little over $1,000 a week. So roughly what the average person makes per day is $200. $200, you can only buy seven of these equals right now. Seven. You're going to buy seven. Now say the thing goes to 100. How many can you buy? Two. Two. And you ain't paid no taxes. You ain't bought no food or nothing. Now you just stuff to go to $400 or $500. Well, you can't buy nothing. You're going to buy a half ounce. You got to eat. You know, you know, and all these investment opportunities that you, you have missed because you what? People say, you know, I'm cash poor. There is no money. And if there is no money, that means that, 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 that as far as I'm understanding, according to the law here, um, HRJ 182 back in um, 18 something that there is no money and the only money that comes from is the, the people we yeah, well, well, that's true but the point is the medium of exchange that you need now is the silver that's that that's what they're gonna switch back to that's gonna be the money because what they have now is this uh, 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 paper that we have the Federal Reserve note so when they switch back this becomes this because Russia and China that's all they want they only want gold and silver so if, if you come over to me and you give me a barrel is uh, paper dollars in case right now oil is worth eighty dollars a barrel, I'm looking at this eighty dollars. If I take this eighty dollars, what can I buy with it? Because everybody else don't want to hold it, and it's losing value. They say, "Okay, oh, you give me some silver or gold, now we can do some business. We can have this stuff." But this is this is how it, the, the world's economy, the other side of the world, is moving to. So how sure. can how can the how can the uh, excuse me uh, how can the stock market be going up and the economy is still stagnating? as it is and what what machinations are they doing to continue to profit off the deprivation of the taxpayers the, 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 what they're doing <laughs> what's happening is the federal reserve is able to print a lot of liquidity and, and that liquidity goes to the banks now the banks take the money the first thing they got to do if you, if you, if you got a billion dollars for the bank first of all you get a billion dollars from the fed you there's zero interest on you so you can do one of two things. You can tour it back, or you can take it and gamble with it. So they can say, okay, then, what we're going to do now, we're going to play with the market. Or, or, or we're going to buy gold, oil, and silver. We're going to buy all commodities now. And that's what they're doing. They're buying all the commodities. So that's what they're doing. So they're taking their money and buying commodities. They're buying oil. They're buying uh, uh, corn. We're going to show you what the top, in the last seven years, in just a moment, I'm going to show you the last seven years, last 10 years, if I ask everybody, you know, what was the number one commodity and how much did it go up in the last 10 years? Now, you might know about King James. You know about them, the heat. You know about the bulls and all that. But if you don't know what is the number one commodity in the last 10 years and how many times did it go up, we're going to show you. The number one commodity that in the last 10 years, from 2002 to 12, 10 years uh, commodity, the number one was silver. And silver went up seven times. Gold went up five times. Uh, gasoline the tank 10 years ago when, we, when Bush was in, it was a dollar 32. See, see, it was a little over a dollar. So you could see there and say, wait a minute, my, and your wages haven't changed in 10 years. They're flat. So you can see there how you're being eroded. So this is why we say too many dollars are being what? Printed. Printed. Okay, go ahead. Uh, here's the Federal Reserve Bank. This, this is the uh, over the, this is the uh, institution that prints the money and makes credit av available. Now, there's nothing wrong with federal fiat money as long as you don't print what? Too, too, much. Much. too, too much. But usually they abuse it. It says, what is the role of the Federal Reserve and yeah. create money? And the Federal Reserve is a bank created in 1913 by an act of Congress. It's a private bank whose stockholders are the largest banks and super wealthy families, the Rothschild, yeah. Rockefeller, all those, it says, uh, that own shares in this thing. And it says, uh, and they create, they create money and credit. Now, the U.S. Constitution states that all legislative power here in Grant should be vested in Congress uh, to what? To coin money. They didn't say print money. That's, that's, that's the way we've gotten away from uh, That's the way we've gotten away from gold and silver. The only money they talking about was gold and silver back here, but now they didn't switch it up to paper, and it causes problems because what it does, it causes inflation. Okay, read. It says, now, U.S. 20. Here's a gold certificate. $20. If you had this, if you had this one... Just halfway decent one, worth your hundred dollars for gold certificate. 
I have one in my bank deposit. I bring it down. It's a gold certificate. And, and, and some of them have been real primes in this gold certificate. $350. This is a piece of paper. Uh, 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 uh. It says a uh, twenty dollars a gold certificate. FDR confiscated and banned gold for Americans. He confiscated all these certificates. Uh, Wait, he confiscated them. FDR. What year? Nineteen thirty-three. So if you got one now, what is it worth? If you got one of these, worth at least hundred dollars. If it's in real good shape, three, two, two fifty, four hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. It's got to be in pristine condition. It uses it. Uh, 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 it's been in uh, uh, what they call that stuff? Uh, laminated. Such that it's an impressive year. Uh, 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 uh. He says, how does U.S. debt affect your money? Uh, for every dollar Congress spends, they have to borrow 43 cents a day. So every dollar you need to Congress spend, that means they're going in the hole. It says, current budget deficits uh, is over $16 trillion, not including Social Security and Medicare. And most foreign nations avoid buying U.S. trillions because of the debt and zero interest rate. China is the largest holder of debt, about one point. We owe China. 1.3 trillion dollars. And the Bible says, the what? The borrowers what? Serving, Serving, to, Serving to the lender. So you know, you, my credit card, I don't tell, I don't tell Chase nothing. I can't tell Chase nothing. All Chase wanna know is I'm paying my what? When I break my leg, I get sick, my mother's pregnant. I don't wanna hear that. That's your issue. If you're late, I'm gonna charge you $29. And if you're three months when you didn't fall, who you think you're playing with? You ain't playing with Cookie. <laughs> See, it says, it says current, the current sequester of debt limit in U.S. is beyond control or containment. The debt has gotten so big, now this is, the, uh, this is how crazy it is. It says since Congress and Obama can't reach uh, the deal to avoid sequester, then the, uh, then the country uh, uh, would see a budget cut of $1.2 trillion. This is for 10 years. So if they're going to cut $1.2 trillion over 10 years, that's only $120 billion for 10 years. But we'll find out $120 million they take it out of the uh, out of the uh, budget. But the budget is $4 trillion. That ain't 1%. <laughs> so you see, so wait a minute, this is a dog and pony show. <laughs> so you said the current, they said that the, 20, the 2012 budget was three point two, uh, almost $4 trillion with a $1.2 trillion deficit. And the professor, Killicott, uh, Killalot, he says the true, the, a true deficit, including Social Security and Medicare, is $200 trillion. So we did what? It can't be paid. That's why I say, you better get some of this. Go ahead. He says, will, 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 will Obama be able to save the economy? Nope. Look, look, look at this. This is all red. If this was you, you a long time ago. You would have, matter of fact, if you read this much, matter of fact, you can't rub that much that because uh, 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 your credit cards have cut them off. Not unless you were Michael Jackson. And the only reason they kept giving that poor Negro that much money, they wanted the Beatles album. They wanted, they wanted the Beatles catalog. Yeah, no. and, and, and see, he didn't have a sister. I said, listen, they, they said, come on, Mike, have some coffee. You want, you want cappuccino? What do you want? Some women? What you want? Just sign here. I'm going to give you another hundred million dollars. And so they were going to run up the debt so great that after a while, he can't pay it. They said, you know what? You can't pay it. We had to foreclose on you. And you know what? We're going to call it all you. Just give us the Beatles album. And everything is cool. Because that Beatles album, you, you get rolling. This is over a billion dollars a year. Dollars a year. Just, 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 you don't have to do nothing. And you see, uh, 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 that was the reason he was able to get that much credit. So in 1960 prices, apples were 49 cents for three pounds. Mm -hmm. See, you can keep going. You can just talk about uh, a broiling chicken was 29 cents a what? A pound. You can just, just talk about stuff, how Cheerios. 28 cent, you know, 28 cent. You're going to get a box of Cheerios, half filled. They won't work. Four, five dollars. Yep, half filled. It's, it's a joke. Okay, uh, continue on, Penny. Listen here. In 1960, a new house cost $12,700. That's how you, you can see how the people back there, most of the wealth that we have today, you can see where it belongs to the seniors. They said, well, how did these seniors get it? Because the cost of living was so what? Right. So cheap, and yet they had a decent salary where they could accumulate a great deal of wealth. So it said 1969, that house jumped from 127 to 155. In 1960, a gallon of uh, gasoline was 25 cents. In 1969, it was 35 cents. That's what you know. You could see. Uh, uh, in 1960, the average cost of a new car was what? Now it's forty thousand dollars. Forty thousand dollars. You can almost buy a house back then, but it ain't the same what? Same money. So you can go through and see how. Uh, a Mustang cost twenty five hundred dollars. A Ferrari was costing fifteen thousand dollars. 
See, uh, a Rolls Royce was twenty thousand. You can just see then how everything is, as I said, inflation. That's the problem we have. Okay, and that's why I said most of the wealth that we have in the community was is it, in the African matter. It's mostly our seniors, and most of that's been wiped out as a result of Wall Street crashing the what? Market. Crashing the real estate market. Now, so what is causing rising prices? Two million dollars created by the Federal Reserve. Okay, go ahead. See Russia and China. You see what he got? That's Putin. Putin said, "Listen, I ain't taking no paper. All, 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 all I'm doing is stacking gold." 